Hello everyone and welcome back to Amori. Um, Last time we left off, um, we beat the Space Pirate, our Captain Space Boy, and then uh, we went off to try and find Basil, and then we entered a weird area, and now we're back as Sunny. And in this world, apparently, Hero is Kel's older brother who's in college, Aubrey is a popular girl who's mean to us, we may have stabbed her with a knife, and Basil's still around. Uh, so now we gotta go over here and look for clues as to what happened. Oh, hey, yeah, I'll save. Um, so now we have to look for clues as to what's happened. Okay, hold on, let me... Look at that. Omori and Sunny are, like, absolutely the same people, right? You got trash. Oh. Let me go turn this in real quick. Oh, more trash. One of those trees was shaking. Um, yeah, so we now we have to look for the photo book. Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash with you. Thanks, so be sure to dispose of this property. Here's two dollars for your help. Huh. So a dollar per bag of trash, huh? What's this? He's just... Oh. Mm, looks like Aubrey is in here. Wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? What? Who, what, and where now? What'd you do that for? Ah, it isn't Kellen, that weird knife, the weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. And finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. You know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know, but first you must beat me in battle. But battle but I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's stick him, Charlie. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, fight, attack, angel. Just angel. Damage. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, only attack Angel and not Charlie. Attacks Angel. Hey, you surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Ow. Okay. So, skill. Some motions. Heal some hearts. First, we do some damage. I guess we'll. Can I snack? No, I guess just attack. Courage. Just raises Sunny's attack. Okay, attack Rose. Let's flip it, strikes a pose. Charlie's standing there. 26 damage. You. You'll pay for this! Oh, did we beat them? How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully! <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm, <clears throat> promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. Probably. Dang it, Angel, you better not be messing around or else. Told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. 
Oh, but well, you can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I, I really don't know. Maybe you could ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, the Maverick? Oh, no. You mean that weird kid, Michael? <laughs> God, just the way that Michael spelled. Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take a great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mike? I mean, uh, the Maverick. If I tell you what I know. But, you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you- Gah! Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. Said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Eh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. Yeah. Definitely done. Let's save. Boom. This way. The fountain. And then I told him, it's not the Maverick, it's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Well, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's enough of me to go around. God, I hate this guy. Michael, what are you doing? Ah! If it isn't go, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Michael. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? S Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Michael, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name! How dare you make a fool of me! I, the Maverick, will not stand for this! Prepare to face your doom! Watch this, ladies! I'll wet the floor with this loser! Please, Michael, don't do this to yourself. We're going to ask one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken! <sighs> Are we really going to do this? Okay then, come on, Sonny, let's take him down. Maverick. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Beat him. Ow, wow. We really need some healing stuff. It whiffed. Uh-oh. Uh, fight. Uh, no snacks. Any toys? First aid kit. Okay. Yeah, you might need that. There we go. Bra Bracking for his annoying fans. Okay. Attack. And then skill. Encourage. Encouragement. Sunny's attack rose. 26. There we go. Uh, attack. Skill. Encourage. Kel's attack fell. Kel gives encouragement. Sonny's attack can't go any higher. Right. Now both attack him. 29? Hmm, not bad. But this fight's just getting started. 27. Beat him. 16. That takes 30 damage. Heh. <laughs> As expected of my rival, but I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. I think you are the one who is going down, my guy. Ah, God, dude, stop attacking him. I've only been using 10% of my power behold my final form. Bet you're regretting your decision right now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Do we have what, what skills do we have? Hmm. Uh, try guarding. Just a block. Ah, wow. 
Okay, it's 25 damage. It's only a matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, oh, Kel's getting angry. Beat him. 20 damn, ow. 36. <sighs> I'll admit, I'm impressed. But you're still light years away from defeating me. Dude, we are literally about to kick your ass. <gasps> no, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. Beat him. Ow. 44 damage. God, no. I won't let it end like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth. Lend me your strength. Here. Ew, what is it with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth the $10. Let's get out of here. <laughs> L ladies, please come back. I have one. <laughs> oh no, that's just sad. <sighs> it's a wig. Michael. There is no one here by that name! Please, I'll never ask you again for anything in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name, The Maverick! Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugar heads, so... I have a hunch they're probably somewhere near Candy. <laughs> Are we just leaving him there? Okay. Another mark. Whoa. Fruit cart. Smells full of oranges. <sighs> Drink orange juice! Have you ever heard of the phrase, orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. That's vitamin C, which is essential for a healthy immune system function. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. So, would you like to buy some orange juice for $2? Yeah, sure, why not? Got orange juice. Yes, drink orange juice. You'll enjoy it. Can we buy anything from here? Oh, candy this way. Oh, a sweet shop. I think I see Kim down there with the shaved half look. Hmm. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot! It's that nerd kid, Kel! Oh, it's that... No, I thought that's that nerd kid. It's that nerd, Kel! Come on, Vance, we gotta go! Uh-oh. Well, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Uh huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. Tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. Thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you, kids. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine, here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance, let's get out of this dump. Oh, boy. Ah, serves you right. Wait, how do we find out where Aubrey is now? Come on, Sonny, let's follow them. 
Can you buy some candy, though? It's me, the happy and cheering Miss Candace. What would you like to die? Uh, uh, buy three of those. Alright, and a chocolate. Buy two of those. Cool. Please come again, or else. Wow, okay. Not a very friendly old lady. Hold up one sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. You just bought candy, didn't you? I thought you didn't have any money on you, you rat. No, no, sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. <sighs> Let's just go home. I'm gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. But really? The whole bag? I mean, wait, you can't buy us off of candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. There's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you release that if it has a new cafe in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim... Vance, I'm waiting. Heh, <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw oh, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait! Please, Kim, you're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We, we even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. Really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists! If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Oh, God. What is it with you guys and fighting? Well... I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose the two nerds like you. Kim, uh, you, uh, snack on, have a chocolate. Yourself. Use chocolate, three hearts. Creamy and a bit nutty. Melt it in your mouth. Phone ring. That's the wrong number. Whoa! Uh oh. Ow! Uh oh. Uh. Skill. Toy. Snack candy? Ah, okay. Hey, <sighs> you guys never stood a chance. So, uh, can we get that taffy now? Nerd! Hmm, <laughs> maybe that'll teach you to mind your own business. Come on, Kim, we gotta get home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait, don't go! Please, Kim, I know you know where Aubrey is. She... She took something really important from Basil. I get that you guys are friends and stuff, but even you gotta admit that Aubrey goes too far sometimes. Please. We're just trying to help a friend. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. 
So she has to told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Michael or something. Come on, Kim. We got a scoop. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later. And nerds. <laughs> I'm nuts. It took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Well, yeah, what do you think? That was the deal, buddy. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. At least I think we do. Can't really imagine Aubrey at church. But I'll believe it when I see it. So. Does the candy really not do much? Pretty flavor. Oh my god, the candy doesn't heal for shit. Gina's money machine. Gina's pizza, what can I get for ya? For sandwich. Where's favorite food? One eighth of a whole pizza. Let's get a hero sandwich. Five dollars. That is all my money. Okay. Pocket, snacks, hero sandwich. Your sandwich supposed to be the perfect mix of meats and veggies. Wow. God, this is healing us for fucking nothing. Escobar, pet rock. Skills? Okay, well, that was all my money gone. Uh, let's head back to the park and save. <laughs> uh, picnic basket up here. Hey, picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes, please. Followers of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay, buddy. You do you, I guess. I don't know, man. Where's Aubrey's house? It's gonna be on the same street as Basil's. So why is Aubrey such a prick? not been able to heal ourselves any. We can't destroy those now. There's construction going on here. Some things just never change. Oh, hello? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry to impose, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Would you be so kind as to pick it up for me? Yeah, sure. Thank you, children. Just talk to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. Got a prescription and an ID card. Hmm. Alright, might as well. Help out where you can. Maybe we'll even get some money. Wow, this is a vastly different game from, uh, what we saw before. There's also been surprisingly minimal horror elements since uh, we first ended up in this world, so, um, that's good, question mark, I think. Produce. There we go, the pharmacy. Mm. Hello, how can I help you? Christian and the ID card. Oh, you're here to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. Mm. 
got Granny's medicine. Picking up her medication in place of her daughter today. I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this, but I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. Kids have a nice day. If you need bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. Oh, really? Scratches. Oh, what? I could have been... Oh my god, that's the actual healing. Uh, I've been so used to eating food and candy and s'mores to heal that I kind of forgot, you know, that's not how it works. And a coin. Hmm. Is that like a whole dollar? No, it's literally just a coin. What? What can I do with the coin? Okay, whatever. Hmm. So where's this church that we've heard about? No, no not that house. There we go. Or you came back. You gave Granny's medicine an ID card to Yellow Bun Granny. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much. You've been a big help. It's nice to see the youth helping out old folks. We're all welcome into my home anytime. Oh. Is that a good thing? Can we yoink shit? Any goods? books and magazines. Well, these houses are all kind of laid out the same. Like, exactly the same. Like, up here is going to be the upstairs. So we're here. Hmm. Love letter on this table. Could be four. Well, we can't yoink it. Wardrobe. Hmm. Work desk. All right. so much more pandemic than you are. It's solely due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led me to my most elephantine discovery of all. Everyone is 100. No, maybe 1,000 years too early in time to comprehend my genius. Pity me no more with your occupancy. You can't perceive anything I interject into your cerebrum anyway. But, yes. My duly beloved. Keep your occupancy. Optical appendages in their she the she assimilates my confab better than anyone or anything else. Such a sweet shot. Well, I God, I this dude is making me unable to talk. She's such a sweetheart, and we love each other. Oh my God, there's so much trash here. Oh my God. Okay, buddy, you uh, you have fun in there. I'm gonna leave you to it. Ooh, mail. Come on. From all over the country. Huh. Alright, well, where do we find Aubrey's house? Uh, I assume if we go the wrong way, then Kel will tell us. Cat. That's Basil's house. Hmm. Nothing really over here. What's in this like abandoned looking house? No response. 
Those small toy cars. Yo yo. Hmm. about oh this is the church okay well here we are this really is the last place I would expect her I'm kind of skeptical actually it might be a trap I'll open the door a little to take a peek mm, looks normal to me I think they're in the middle of a sermon oh there she is on the right mm, she's just sitting there all normal so weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Alright. Says so you have a religious figure. Feels as if it is judging you. Aubrey's old blue bike. Uh, no. Or, yes. expected you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. What the... What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to get back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Cal. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. Heh. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's the... Okay. Well, fuck. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple? You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. It doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. <laughs> You're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. Get that you're angry. If it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? Should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No. I 
won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll get Basil's photo album back, you thief. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Now is not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. Uh-oh. We can't win this. Calm down. Uh... Guard. Then he comes down, recovers 40 heart. Get our clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Skill, calm down. Okay. We gain some health. Okay, we're back to full. Ow, wow. Unless you bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Okay, um. Keep calming down. Don't attack her. God damn. What do you think they're doing? It's a place of worship. Okay, so we're slowly losing health, and I think this is a losing battle. Oh. Hmm. Serves you right, Cal. Now. Leave me alone. Ever since your father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Shit. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. I mean, this was a bad idea. I mean, she still stole from Basil. How are you gonna steal from your friend? Aubrey just jumped something into our trash can. Let's go check it out. It's gonna be the photo album, isn't it? Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. On the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Yeah, we'll high five. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Come on. Important. Can we look at it? My first photo. It's my best friend, Sonny, trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so we can play recitals with his sister, Mari. So exciting! Oh, 
because she was our sister. Just kill being kill. So many party hats. Sunny playing a video game. Yeah, excuse me, on the couch. Sunny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. We challenge Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. <laughs> Oof, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sourer about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and then took this while I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better check of my things. Some of these are very similar to the ones in the, uh, the other place. It's all of us cuddling with stunny stuffed animals. Yes, yeah, so many. They're all so soft. Wish I could just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Your Sunny and Kel holding Mari's, for example, it looks perfect, doesn't it? Only Mari thought so, too. Nero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. Rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. She made her hair that color. Aubrey won't let Kel undo the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all of his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off some more, or with some refreshing orange joe. I shouldn't get too close, or I might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. We buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay, Sonny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sonny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sonny is holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. I wonder what it is. Can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Sonny a giant building block set. Sonny seems much more interested in the box, though. <laughs> he acts just like Mari's new kitten, Miwo. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Meow's new home. <laughs> We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. S me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Kids are going back to school in September? Dude, what school are you guys going to? <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Well. Man, so Mari is gone. Knock, knock, Basil. It's your friends, Kel and Sonny. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Hi, huh? you did? Wow. Thank you. Gave Basil back his photo album. 
Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. I mean, dinner should be always free for kids. Please, make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Ah, uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Well, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. That's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure, okay. Oh, oh, so I may have already gone through them. Here it is. Yeah. Been through this all already. Yeah. Oh man, looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. Can't wait until he comes back. This year I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sonny will take care of this thing for you. You just focus on getting back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Don't know if you boys like to help. Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. That would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Would you like to save? Yeah. Well, I guess uh, with that uh, melancholy note, that is where we will end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed typical YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. I, I so for context, all these uh, recordings so far, I've played it all in one session and. This game is incredible so far. I am in love with it. Just the art style, got the horror elements, the story. I'm I'm still trying to piece it together myself. Maybe I'll, you know, get, I'm I'm going to take a break for a while and when I come back, maybe I'll have a better better look of it after I process some of it. Uh, but yes. Thank you all once again so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode of Amori. Bye.